Now I hope that the AEW production team is as smart as I believe they are, and they focus on my eyes so that I may talk directly to my people. Fellow Dark Order, the Exalted One is near. And when he arrives, he will breathe new life into the Dark Order. My brother Stu Grayson, Alex Reynolds, and John Silver have done my bidding in preparation for this wonderful night. And tonight, their eyes will open and they will see what evil Uno sees. Because I have promised them the arrival of the Exalted One. But more importantly, I have promised you the arrival of the Exalted One. And evil Uno never lies. Evil Uno never breaks his promises because evil Uno cares about you. Together, we are one. We are one. And the Exalted One is near. The Exalted One is near. The Exalted One is SCU, Frankie Kazarian, Christopher Daniels, who have had no shortage of trouble with the Dark Order. Please, in the name of all that is holy, would you stop running your mouths? Evil Uno, it's been like this for three months straight. Every chance you get, you get a microphone in your hand and you tell lies. I'm so sick of these lies. You talk about how you're gonna make someone's life better. You haven't made Alex Reynolds any better. You haven't made John Silver any better. You haven't made any of these jackasses that wear your masks any better. All you've done is you've wasted our time. You've wasted these people's times watching at home and we're sick of it. We are sick of it. And the biggest lie, the biggest lie that you've told is that there is an exalted one. There is no exalted one, Uno. It's just you two. In fact, there's you two. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. I am the exalted one of the Dark Order. In a very short time, you will be up to speed on just who I am. I would first like to state that the new rule of the Dark Order goes like this. We do what we want, when we want. And if I want something, I take it. And now let me put it in a different way because maybe the stupid out there didn't understand. If we come and knock on your door, you open that door and you let the Dark Order in. And if you don't, I personally will kick that door down and lead the Dark Order through it. Seems to be a little bit of silence. Maybe you don't understand. Let me make this one a little more personal, a little more tangible for you to feel, Mr. Christopher Daniels. Oh, you thought you were safe, didn't you? The thing about it is now the word is out, Chris. You are very unsafe. All your jokes, all your games, did you really think you were gonna go unpunished? Mr. Daniels, I assure you, you are not the first out of touch old man to not believe in me, but I will make damn sure you are the last. Now let me take this time to formally introduce myself to you, Chris. My name is Brody Lee. And I am the Exalted One. Oh my God! Brody Lee just took Daniel's head off. Brody Lee is the Exalted One. It wasn't a hoax, it wasn't a lie, it's a fact. There is an exalted one and it's just a effort. nasty Brody Lee. Wow. Like a big rig running over Christopher Daniels. 
as Uno and Grayson take out Kazarian. The Exalted One has arrived in All Elite Wrestling. We are one. Oh, God. What does this mean for the whole of AEW? Wake up. Cody, top out! Suicide on Ortiz! After what Cody's been through, able to do that, very impressive. Watch out, oh, go oh, right to the oh, oh, He threw him right in Jay's face. Look at Big Warlord, oh, look, look at Big War, little mess around. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Arn hit him with, a, with, his, with his notepad. It's not going to work. Blind tag there. Matt Jackson tagged in. Nice. Hangman swept out. Oh, jeez. But Matt with the right hand on Santana. Now Matt and Santana inside the ring. Matt charging in. Oh. A lot of moving parts here. Anything could happen. Who's going to get the advantage? Which team? Matt was a little results wow. there. Northern Lights. Northern Lights suplex. This move is very impressive. A little bit pompous, but still very impressive. Yeah, hanging on. It's, it's tough to change your head. It hips. is. It's a tough move. You know this, Taz. Change the three amigos. The Locomotion Northern Lights suplex. No, Matt tosses Santana away. Oh, he's got no, it. Oh, no way. Work. No that's way. It's not going to work. It's a little bit, believe it or not, you uh -oh. can. Oh, oh, wait, a little bit. That's a double team. Oh. Disqualify them. They were on the same page. Hager hey, taken down by two men. Come on, Knox. Yeah, is the implosion going to happen here? Oh, it looks like the elite might be on the no, same page. No, no, no. What is this going to be? One of them double team fancy pants moves? He ain't no it's, Nick Jackson. He's calling for the Indy Taker. He ain't no Nick Jackson. Hangman springing up. No! Oh, oh, wow. first. oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Yes! Come on, sit down. Yes! Santana. That is it. We did it! <laughs> we are your winners. We did it! We did it! We did it! Circle. I told you. We did it! Yeah, boy! The inner wow. circle defeating the elite here tonight gaining the advantage to head into blood and guts. That is massive. Oh my God, as if things aren't bad enough for the elite. Wow. Man, uh, if there were any gambling in Vegas, there's not right now, but if there were, I think the big favorite would be uh, Jericho's group, Inner Circle. Absolutely. I mean, it just showed the confidence Jericho had just by sitting here on us instead of being out there helping his guys, but inner circle celebrating. Look, look, take a look at some of the action that we saw here tonight. Look at this! Look at this! You see that, Rick Knox? We did it, you dumb idiot! Woo! Wait, oh, oh, he's still gonna do some, some push-ups there. Exactly. I told you! We were gonna do it! Hey, Orange Cassidy, you dumb idiot! You see what just happened, Dustin? You see what just happened? Exactly, you saw what just happened. We knew we would have... Shut the music off, I'm talking. There's nobody here anyways, I'm talking. We knew that we had the advantage as the inner circle. There's four reasons, man, number one, we just beat you for the match right there. We got the advantage on that side of things. Number two, we're in a circle, right? Right? Here's number three. I just made a decree that I'm banning all fans from all future AEW events no. until I say so. I don't care if the world changes tomorrow. The last thing I need, the last thing we need is a bunch of pumpkin-headed dipshits chanting for Cody or chanting for Matt or Omega or Hangman. So they're gone. No fans allowed. And the fourth reason, the most important reason is after what we did to your snot-nosed little brother, Matt Jackson, yeah, the elites only got four, and the inner circle, we got five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you don't stand a chance, man. You don't stand a chance. So what we're going to tell you is this. When blood and guts happens, it's inner circle. Look at this, look at this, come on. S Sammy, 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 get on his back. You go down your back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's hard. Do one. Do one. Do that. Yeah, look at that. Jeez. Look at that.
don't, oh, don't forget. There you go. Don't forget this. We've never had a problem in the inner circle. We have never uh, 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 spoke a cross word to each other. We've never hit each other with each other's move accidentally. We've never drank at ringside and got a little buzzkey. Never. So there's no way that we haven't shown a crack in the armor. We haven't done a thing except for win. We've dominated the AEW. We've dominated the elite. And when it comes time for blood and guts, we're going to dominate blood and guts as well. They're going to pay us a lot of money for this. It's the truth. That's right. That's right. What you looking at, Brandy? What you looking at? Huh? What you looking at? Stay on the other side of the, uh, the uh, gate there, Dustin. Scares me. Scares me. Right? Huh? Sammy. Tell them how hot you are. Tell them how sexy you are. I mean, just look at me. I'm a Spanish guy, baby. Hey, if you want to hit me up, Brandy, I mean, oh. Oh, come on. your man's a loser, so go for it. Yeah. Exactly. And the funny thing is, my favorite part, is if there was five... What? What is that oh. Wait a minute. Well, what do we have here, Chris? See, a lot of the stuff you're saying, it happened to be true. We've, we've had our problems. But one thing, well, there was one mistake right there in your little speech. The elite isn't outnumbered, Chris. That's right. It's not, it's not just four of us. No, no. In fact, I made a phone call to a, a friend who owed me a favor. in deep water. He rises to meet the, ch oh. He attempted to rise to meet the challenger, but the fatigue too great. Moxley trying, and they're out there in no man's land. I said they had fought all over the arena, but uh, here they go on the stage now. This is the one place. There's so much danger could happen there. Look at the chips and the, the plunder, if you will. Oh. <laughs> right. Fiberglass poker chip driven into the, oh. Oh, the face of Mr. Brody, but he was able to avoid that paradigm shift. Brody indicating he's going to power bomb. Power bomb right on this the hard stage. Yeah, right on the on the rampway. Oh. Well, that uppercut right hand is effective from the challenger. Moxley oh. escapes. Mox, him in the ring. Now Moxley thinking paradigm shift. Oh, oh my, my God! Moxley. Oh, they're going to need some medical attention now. There's a doctor right there, Johnny, on the spot. But can he even get down there? They destroyed the rampway from the impact of both bodies, especially Brody Lee's. Doc, get in here. Take another look. Okay, you just heard him say, oh. Doc, get in here as we take a look again. That paradigm shift by Moxley. I hope this doesn't, he doesn't stop the match. But I also hope that neither guy's physically destroyed, which they could be. Okay. The, the, the staff and coaches there's Jerry Lynn out there. Yeah, this is 
very serious situation. UT Marshall and wait a minute, what is he saying? Paul Turner. John John Moxley has emerged. A Moxley, the first man up. Moxley, the first man up. We still have yet to see <laughs> the challenger. He's sliding on. It's, and Moxley on his feet. There's Brody. Oh, he's oh my God. Brody Lee is, has been busted open. I mean, the, his head, the top of his head was what pierced that ramp first. Yeah, just the top of his head was bleeding. That's the source of that cut. It's way up in his hairline. And now he's dazed. He's lost some blood. Looking for the big one. Oh, trying to. Oh, no. oh. The paradigm shift. shift. What? Oh. Oh. oh, Moxley. Moxley trying to widen the cut. Open this man up. Now Moxley's biting. We're and never, hammering. We've never seen a world title match like this, ever. This is serious. Moxley teeing off on Brody Lee. Oh, oh. good oh. God. Upside down with that straight up. What a, what a. One, two, got him. no. Oh. I don't know how the hell this man is kicking out of these things. That's a tough I son of a bitch, let me tell you something. That time for sure, yeah. he was done. Brody Lee is bleeding a little bit God. more, losing more blood. They're trying to choke him out now. Rear Mox naked choke. Moxley using the bulldog choke, but he transitions me, into the rear naked. Talk he has me, one hook me. in, and Brody is fading. His eyes are clumped. His hand is dropped. It's over. That is it, John Moxley retains. Moxley with a sleeper. Here's your winner by submission, and still the AEW World Champion, John Moxley. Moxley's went through a war here and survived it. Somehow, some way, John Moxley has regained his championship. The title physically retained it. You know, I really think that was the only way he could win it. The only way he could win it because he he couldn't pin him, but he kept kicking out. I mean, Miss Brody Lee did not give up. He did not submit. He this is a referee stoppage. Because he's out. Yeah, I mean yeah. he's still out. But his hand, yeah, his hand went limp. The referee made the right call. There should be no controversy on this finish. John Moxley retains the AEW World Championship title. It was an incredible war. About as physical as you're gonna see, ladies and gentlemen. Both men bringing their A games, both men with stiff strikes. You'd think they're both from Idaho. And it was a physical, a strong, Difficult match for both champion and challenger alike. We saw some amazing things for both men. Brody Lee was on top of his game. But Moxie just was relentless. Wouldn't give up. And, and were it not for, for the wow. weight of both men for this exact moment, I think Brody Lee might have won this match. There you see the neck crimped. It's a version of a sleeper. Cut off the flow of the blood to the brain to the carotid artery. The left arm, you saw it go, yeah. just go limp. And then there's the right. And, the and, and Brody was not responding to the referee's request to say something, show me some life. So the referee made a good call. You want to me? You want to disrespect me? Steal my property? Let that be a lesson! Don't cross me. Personally or professionally. Keep your distance from the AEW World Champion if you know it's good for you. Four back for your buck from the Young Bucks. Matt Hardy covers one, two, three. That is it. Here are your winners, the team of the Young Bucks and Matt Hardy. Battered ribs, bruised tailbones, the most dangerous teeth in wrestling, for Matt Hardy, and a victory here at Daly's Place, live tonight on TNT. Looked great as a six-man team. There was no question about that. Matt Hardy is checking in on Mark Quinn. 
who obviously is in a lot of pain here. That's sportsman like. I like that. Great sportsmanship being shown by Matt Hardy as he and Rick Knox taking Mark Quinn to the back. Hopefully it's just a tweak. You know, Doc Sampson will be on hand to check out the condition of Quinn. Yeah, that kid's in a lot of pain, man. Man, they got to get him out of here. Well, right now, what a return to form for the Young Bucks, getting back to their winning ways. And we've had some upheaval in the tag team division. You know the Young Bucks want to be back in that title hunt. Yeah, they're right now. Oh, no! Butcher and Blade! Butcher and Blade trying to get some retribution from that earlier altercation involving these four men. Easy to attack them from behind once they've had this match. That Aaron super kick from Nick that caught Blade on the jaw has just dominoed into Butcher and Blade. I don't think the uh, inadvertent defense will, will get the jury's verdict, Your Honor. And what is this? Another, another truck pulling up to Daly's place. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my God. Wait just a minute. Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, FTR! What are they doing here? Well, I think they came to fight. <laughs> but who? Oh, I think I know who. Don't you think you know who? I think I know too. They have had a war of words with the Young Bucks for years. Butcher and Blade finding that FTR are bad dudes. Yeah, we Har don't. Harwood and Wheeler came here to play big time ball here in AEW. I don't think they care whose ass they whip. Big time shot takes out Butcher and now Blade getting set up. There's teamwork. Dangerous teamwork. Oh! FTR with a spike pile driver on Blade. And now the attention turns back to work we think it was originally intended we have seen if you've been watching being the elite you have seen the letters ft all oh, right watch out butcher wanted some more and he got some butcher and blade have been decimated by ftr and now a standoff here between two great tag teams. FTR and the Young Bucks, in the eyes of many, including mine, a dream tag team scenario. But FTR making an entrance and making their presence felt. So, it's time for the open challenge. But I can't help but notice the air is getting a bit thin. It's a bit lonely at the moment. Last week, on the receiving end of a beatdown courtesy of Jake Hager, I find myself no Dustin, no Matt, no Nick, no Kenny, no Hangman. So am I even in the elite anymore? I would hope so. I would hope so. Is the Nightmare family even a family kind of makes you wonder, makes you wonder, right? But without further ado, I wasn't coming out here to talk. I want to hand it off to the man, the head coach of the Nightmare Family. Let's hear a warm reception for Double A, Ann Anderson. Very interesting, very interesting. You know, to, here's the thing, Cody. With age comes maturity, and maturity comes wisdom. And you have to listen sometimes inside your head right there to the voice of reason. Now, I know you believe you can beat Hager. I know you can beat Hager. But I also know that in this business, timing is everything, and the timing is just not right. Okay, let's move on. 
Let's move past it. Today you have an opponent that is more than qualified, very talented. As your coach, I've done my work. I've checked it out. But he's also a guy that you can take it to and hone your skills. And that's what we've been looking for. I'm absolute Ricky Starks. I am a former NWA World Television Champion, and I am the hottest free agent on the market. The moment I heard that the Open Challenge was an invitation to anyone even outside of AEW, I thought that that was the perfect chance to not only get my foot in the door, but more importantly, prove to myself that I can hang with anybody. I have been broke. I've had $3 to my name, I've slept in my car, I've slept on floors, I've slept on couches, all for what? Just to be sitting here right now. And the only two things I had when I had nothing else in this world was work ethic and grit. The same two things that Cody Rose has. Cody talks about how you put him up on the track with anybody. Well, guess what, baby boy? I got my shoes tied tight and I'm ready to go to distance. Well, a very compelling story from our challenger here tonight. Is televised. Yeah, this is not just any challenger. Yeah, Ricky Stark said it himself, perhaps the hottest free agent in pro wrestling. He has competed most recently in the NWA, but he's also competed overseas in Japan with our friends at DDT all over North America, United States, Canada, and Mexico, and held titles around the world. Once again, went to launch off the top for that swinging DDT, but Cody, it's that boot up high. Starks a wild swing and a miss. Power slam. Cover. That hook, but Starks able to kick out. Showing great grit, if nothing else. Cody is in for a big old fight here. He knows it. Tosses his weight belt out in the crowd, which is customary for him. And now he's got Starks in position. He's looking for crossroads, but Starks had it scouted. Yeah, well scouted, I might add. Lock, that's yeah. a damage in background coming into play. Cody got a real wide base there. Standing and vertical. Pancake Starks down, center of the ring, cover. Two, no. Cody opted not to hook the leg. He placed all his body weight across the upper body of Starks. Very interested, Jake Hager yeah. looking on. Well, a week ago, he almost walked away with that title belt. Hager is a bad, bad man. Now Cody going up to the Look top. Starks. Boy, this is sly for Starks. He let him go up top before he reached for him. And that's a very precarious position for the champion to be in. Starks gonna go up there and get him some of this high-risk business. Starks. Oh, yeah, he oh, got to go all the way now. Both need to be very careful up here. The wow. superplex driving Cody into the mat. Arn Anderson is beside himself. Speaking of NWA television champions, how about the lineage there? Some of the greats. Look at this. Oh. What a way to make a living. And you have to remember, this is the third consecutive oh. week. For Cody to be defending this TNT championship. Something he said he would do, Excalibur. Oh, Starks with a high cross body. Both men spilling outside of the ring. Starks putting his own uh, well being on the line here with that particular offensive maneuver. Just throwing body on body and letting the cards fall where they may, along with additional body parts. Still to come tonight, don't forget, second of our double main event. Vince Friends put up their number one contendership status and has shown at the AEW Tag Team titles at Fighter Fest in order to get lay six gods in the ring for some payback over what the inner circle did to Orange Cassidy one week ago. That's right, Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara against Best Friends. That's coming up in the second of our two main events here tonight on Dynamite. Look at Jake Hager in the back, still watching. Could play right into the hands of Jake Hager. This is a hard fought match here. Yes, yes. This is not what anybody really thought it was going to be. And it's turned into a, a real barn burner here in 
in Daly's place in Jacksonville. Cody coming off, looking for that disaster kick. Starts the, oh, the spear just decleats Cody. One, it could do two, it, this could do it. No. I'm telling you that was a close one. Ricky Starks very well could walk away with the TNT Championship. Great poise, great composure by Starks keeping on the attack. Stark double unhooking the arms. Or Single now, yeah, now a double. Cody though, oh, sweeps up the legs. Flips forward. Oh. Starks with the pinning predicament, no. Cody pulls him up, one, two, nope, six out. Cody rolls over, one, two. Stark's able to escape. Cody catches a clothesline attempt and crossroads! Wow, oh, he planted it. crossroads! He planted it. Oh, boy, does Stark's get drilled with that. And that'll be all she wrote tonight for, for Stark's, Ricky Stark's great effort, great match. Now, winner of this match, and still TNT champion, Cody! Too close for comfort for Coach Arn Anderson, I can guarantee you. But think about what we talked about. Defending the title every single week, leading into a Hager situation, is scary for Cody. That is a breakneck pace for any champion to maintain, especially when you have somebody as hungry as and as dangerous as Jake Hager waiting in the wings. Great match. A really good match here tonight. Tip of the hat to both men. Well, I'll tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to go down at Fighter Fest. Great sportsmanship shown by champion and challenger alike. But Cody successfully retains the TNT Championship. We do understand that you have a big announcement for us here. And uh, what's this well, all about? This is what this is about. Tony Schiavone, I'm really glad you're here. Because you have been part of so many iconic moments in the wrestling industry. And this will be one of those iconic moments. As you know, and everybody knows, tonight here at Fighter Fest, what was supposed to happen was the AEW World Champion, John Moxley, was supposed to defend his title against the machine. Now, next week, as we know, that will happen, and Brian Cage, the machine, will be crowned the new AEW World Champion. But that's what brings me to this, what's in my hands. What's in my hands, Tony, is something that I created decades ago. What's in my hands is something that basically is my full body of work. What's in my hands was created with my blood, my sweat, my tears. What's in my hands is the FTW World Championship. So this is a championship that no promotion has ever recognized, but wrestling fans worldwide, Tony, Wrestling fans worldwide, they recognize the respect for the man who holds this championship. Because the man who holds this championship is the baddest son of a bitch in wrestling. And that man is no longer uncrowned. And that man is not going to go into fight for the fallen without a championship. Because that man is the machine, Brian Cage. Brian Cage. You are no longer uncrowned, my man. You are the FTW champion. Wow. Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone, what you're looking at here with the FTW championship is some renegade shit, brother. That's what that is. That's some renegade shit. And who better? Who better? than the machine Brian Cage to go with the fight for the fallen with some momentum. Hey, Mox, your ass is done, buddy. Who better than the machine? JR Excalibur, how about that? The FTW Championship comes to AEW and comes to Dynamite here tonight at Fighter Fest. Cody floats up and over the top. Oh, oh, chop block. 
Right to the left knee, by the way. No uh, thinking about left or right. It was the left knee that got it. And Cody, intense. He's fired up, and he fires, kicks the head first into that turnbuckle pad. That's, oh! Kicks yeah. his leg, gave out on it. Yeah, and that's Bu it buckled. This one, Cody's got to kick it again, right? Oh, oh, that's what he was going to do, I guess. A legal long blow. In as much as it's a no disqualification match. And JR, you talked about it. A desperate man pushed to his limit will do just about anything. We're seeing that from Eddie Kingston right here. Oh. DDT. Right after he looked in the eyes of Arn Anderson. Kingston's got to follow up here. This, I know he's a veteran. Been around a long time. That's Eddie Kingston. This may not be advisable to leave Cody this much time to regenerate a little bit. Oh, well. How was that? Well, I, I don't know what it is. The only thing I can tell you is that it, it's well documented. He once served as a manager for Santana and Ortiz. We've seen them out with a man ball. I don't know if this is the form of it or what. Kingston. Oh, my oh. God. Thumbtacks. It's a bag of thumbtacks. Kingston spilling the tax in the center of the ring. Oh, look at the reaction at ringside with everyone at ringside once they saw those thumbtacks. So fight they, me. So they shunned Tony Parker. Tony Parker has seen that. No, that yeah, that's me. right. Uh, fight me. Not fight me. like this. Fight me. Oh, just a fight headbutt me. right between the eyes of yeah. Kingston. Just demanding that Cody fight him. Oh my God, here we go. Oh, go. Cody. Drop kick to the knee. So effective. He's, so timely. He saved himself that time is what he did. And Those he's, ticks on the canvas. He's trying to get Kingston up. Both men teetering. Kingston goes out the, out the back door though. And a big shot. Oh my God, he's going to power bomb him on the tags. From the mouth, he's got thumbtacks all over his arms, his lower back. Look at that. Good God. His entire back and arms have been, been pierced like a pincushion. Many look at Sheeta, the women's champion. She can't even look. Look here again. Oh. Can you imagine the pain from multiple parts of your anatomy? All those thumbtacks, arms, back, leg, lower back, everything. Oh. Backdrop suplex. Cody, oh, Cody. Oh, oh. Cody said the hell with this. I'm coming alive here. Got to shut out the pain. Cody had that shot of adrenaline that propelled him up, but he's been unable to capitalize. He better find another shot of it. If one shot is good, the second one's better. And now, in my experience, Cody, he wants to can figure four. Kingston. Yeah, he sees it. He's, he's just slapping his way out of it. Oh, look at this, would you? My God. And now just a straight right hand to the face of the challenger, Palm, Cody. Palm strike time after time. The figure four changes the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. And Cody is pissed off. He's angry. He's had all this he's going to take. And he keeps the turn to hold on. Pretty tense. He bridged up, and that was it. This match as a result of a submission. And still TNT champion, the American Nightmare, Cody. God, what a fight, JR. Cody bleeding from his shoulder or his arm. Look at those tacks. Cody has been a fighting champion, but this may have been his toughest test yet. And that knee injury to Eddie Kingston proved to be a crucial turning point in this match. Well, Dr. Sans is going to have two patients tonight. Wow, our trainer, up. our team doctor. Hey, uh, Eddie Kingston, if nothing else, Showed us he's a tough son of a bitch. Cody Lee. Oh, Cody, oh, Cody's trying to get a quick start here. Oh, yeah. good, good strategy. Go at him. Good offensive flurry by Cody in the early going. But not with this monster of a man get untracked. Oh, Cody oh, Lee with wow. a drop kick. Unbelievable. This huge heavyweight whoa, whoa, with a man. drop kick. What? And just Cody tossed over the top rope to the floor with ease. Cody grabbed his head, his arm, his ribs, everything. Yeah, let's, let's think about those ribs, how they've taken a beating oh. the last couple of weeks. But he's on now. His right arm, his right elbow. He landed really hard on the outside. Here comes Brody. Oh, got to kick his head off. I thought Cody was going to be able to avoid that contact. 
but no. Not no, but hell no. Brody Lee is a man possessed here. He is locked in and nasty, mean, dangerous as hell. Oh, good God. Heavy hands into the solar plexus of, of the TNT champion who has really never gotten out of the blocks whatsoever in this matchup. He tried to hit him with that quick flurry, which I think surprised all of us, including Mr. Brody Lee, but the flurry has turned against him now. I think that uh, attack initially from Cody really pissed off Mr. Brody Lee because he is hot. He's got a half and half. Oh, my God. Half and half back suplex. With uh, his words, motivational words, but the power. Is it too little, too late? Broke him in half. Just a power bomb. Nasty. It's crazy. Cody's hands hanging down the side. He's the best. Oh! This is out. Upside down. He did it. Are you kidding me? Whoa! Are you kidding me? Wow. I can't match. believe this. And new TNT champion, Mr. Brody Lee. He went right through Cody. That discus lariat, Jay off. Nobody, Shivani, nobody thought we could do this. Nobody believed in the Dark Order. Nobody believed in Brody Lee. People like you, Tony, you created this monster. And now I'm a problem for AEW. Well, that's a fact. With this, Shivani, comes the power. With this comes the say-so. Dark Order is at the top now. Well, we got problems here. This is more than we think here. Yeah, Taz. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cody's, Cody's in hardly mood and in bad shape. Yeah, this People is. People like you, Shivani. Executives oh, like you created me. You held me down. You didn't give me a chance. But when I had the chance, what did I do? I knocked it out of the damn park. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a dominant. Tell everyone I'm the champion, Tony. Tell them. Mr. Brody Lee of the Dark Order is the champion. But is that the, the other story here is what we're seeing. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Cody. We, we've got a situation going on here. We sure as hell do, Tony. We've got a, we've got a, a, a situation going on here on the left. I'm not sure okay. what happened. Can you hear me? Yeah. Let me know you can hear me. Okay. Thumbs, thumbs up from Cody. Okay. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. He's coherent and positive. A lot of the AEW staff on hand, led by uh, Dr. Sanson. Worried about it. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. What's Doc Water up? They iron up Orn. Orn swing. Look at Orn. Oh, they go down without a fight. Wait, wait a minute. This Arn Anderson being physically abused. Oh, oh my God. The second to the abdomen. What the hell? We need help out here. Doc Water is just. Cody said no. What the hell? What are you guys thinking? Some settlements of, of the order. This is chaos. They're running Dr. their Sanson away. Yeah, this is this just this thing uh, just got really uncontrollable here. This is bad. The inmates are controlling the warden's office. Oh! I can only assume what's in that bag. This is, he needs medical attention, and in the, in the dark order intimidated Dr. Says he's gone. You made me, people like you! This is absolute tragedy. The new TNT champion. Look, look at this. They attacked Dustin, too. QT in the back, they must have got the nightmare family being a. Foster children. Well, I, I, I gotta tell you, man, there might be a new Butler Brown. He's saying enough is enough. He's going to be staying back, to be honest with you. Trying to protect her husband. Stand by your man, as someone once said. Wait a minute. 
Let, that, that's Anna Jay of the dog. Oh, Anna Jay. Anna Jay. Oh, Anna Jay. Oh, God, she's got a rear naked choke. A choke on her. Oh, no, Randy. Randy is getting choked out. Much in the line of the leader of the dark corner, Brody Lee, the new TNT champion. This is the Choke her out. She choked Randy out. That beautiful young woman is nothing but a damn Jezebel. I have to tell you, JR, I think it's a new world here in AEW. The landscape has changed. Uh, that was, that's what he hit him with. That's what was in the bag, JR. The old TNT championship. That belt's yours. This one. This one, Cody, is mine. We're back live here on TNT, one of the most fundamentally sound matches we've seen in a long, long time between Thunder Rosa and Serena Deep. It's physical, and look at this. Boom! During the break, Thunder Rosa charging into the corner, that drop kick to the midsection, knocking the wind out of Serena Deep. I like how she extended the legs for some extra power on that drop kick. Well done. During our break, uh, Excalibur was explaining to us that he thinks that that uh, Thunder Rosa is a stylistic nightmare for the AEW Women's Champion. Yeah, that's right, JR. She has, uh, she can match Hikaru Shida strike for strike. She has the uh, the Lucha Libre influence, the style that is uh, that is unfamiliar for Hikaru Shida. And so, in a, in so many different ways, she is a puzzle for the AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. Serena Deep finding her way back up to a vertical base. Got a backstabber in. On the NWA Women's Champ. And you know that Hikaru Shida is watching this matchup closely, scouting the competition. Oh. Those lines there from Deep taking Thunder Rosa off her feet. Just remind the fans of Dark comes your way on our YouTube channel each and every Tuesday. And here are some of the results from yesterday. And, and look at this. Almost, uh, Oh, no, Thunder Rosa transitions, or excuse me, Roll deep up. transitions into a pinning predicament. Thunder Rosa very nearly got caught sleeping. That was a smart move to get to the corner, though, after that. And she got the, the elbow oh. up. Mistake there by Serena. Got a little overzealous. Oh, and she... quickly, which is a key term, quickly followed up by Thunder Rosa, the NWA women's champ, no. now building some momentum. Those knees so dangerous by Thunder Rosa, and that's the striking I was talking about. Oh, another one of those drop kicks. Yes, sir. Low, sudden, and powerful. Yes, sir. Extending the legs out as she connects. Look at there. Here's a shoulders down. Now, aggressive cover there. High stack on it. Now, these ladies are pushing it, aren't they? Yes. I'll, this is a, one of the better female matches. And I, that's probably getting me in trouble. No, well, I, no, you. I, I understand. It's it's. it's we've had. Yeah, it's been a. It's been a. You can't and, deny it's been a great match. And we've had a lot of good ones. Yes, we have. And Thunder, oh no, look at that. Deep counters, two, no. Oh, wow, that was almost a major upset. I'll tell you what, a match this challenging, this uh, daunting for Thunder Rosa may do her good for Saturday night, too. Oh, the arms of Thunder Rosa are look captured. Deep looking for that pile driver, but Thunder Rosa hoists her up. Death Valley driver. Wow. Got a lot of head there. And then neck, cover, and Deep somehow kicks out. Hey, look, Serena can, can earn a job here. This is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. You seen the unemployment race lately? Yes, we have. Deep gets that shoulder up off the canvas. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, roll in. Thunder Rosa, one counter. Neither woman wanting to give way. Wild swing and a miss there. Oh, no. Open hand yeah. shots, palm strikes, suplex. Deep, Deep would really put herself in line to to buy for the NWA championship as well with a win. You're right. But right now, it doesn't look good for Serena. She's with weathered the storm on more than one occasion in this match against her amazingly talented opponent, Thunder Rosa. Look at that strength. Thunder Rosa hoists her up. Oh, the Thunder Driver! One, two, three! The winner of this match, the NWA World Women's Champion, Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa proudly wants to display her NWA women's title. But she's got a chance to go even beyond that, at least in our estimation, by, by becoming the AEW women's champion.
but she's got quite an attitude as well. And she's going to need it come Saturday night against Cheetah. As uh, Excalibur says, she's got that great MMA background. And that striking background will serve her well. Walking into Saturday night, the AEW Women's World Championship will be on the line at All Out. Praise that uh, America top team in, uh, San in San Antonio. I just want to say thank you, Kip. I got your text today. You said you're the best man, and I'm just so excited. Brian, I know it's your birthday and you're a little bit hyped up. I didn't, I didn't say that. I said, you're the best, comma, man. You wouldn't leave me alone, Brian. It was like you've been stalking me since All Out. Texts, calls, Brian, we're not even friends. Mm. So get out of here, Junior. That's pretty brutal. Get out. Get out. Wow, what a. What I hope a your birthday sucked. Okay, let's try this one last time. It is my honor, my privilege to introduce to all of you the best man. Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. What? Would you look at that? The crowd's going crazy. The beast from Bulgaria, Miro, is the best man. He's one of those powerful, strongest men ever. Well, I mean, Miro is. Is really big on Twitch. Yes, he and is. So he and he and Kip obviously hit it off. Wow, this is. Look at him standing, Jr. You're right. I didn't see this one coming. I can tell you that. But I'm happy that it did. The big man's got this crowd jacked up and on their feet. What's that? That has a good ring to it, doesn't it? Okay. Whew. Ten years in the same house under the same glass ceiling with an imaginary brass ring. <laughs> well, you can take that brass ring and shove it up your ass. That's right, my name is Miro, and Elite recognizes Elite. Elite recognizes the best. And Kip, I love you, man. And of course, I'm gonna be your best man. But you pick me not because I am a best man, no, no, no. but because I am the best man. You tune into my Twitch channel, you know I am the best gamer. You tune into right here, you see me devour people after person after person, every day, every night, whatever you tune in. My name is Miro, and I'm all elite. Wow. Wow, that's impactful. Miro. Tony had a hell of an injury earlier today. Was something else revealing it really was. Tony talked to Hangman Page. Here it is. And unfortunately, as he walks him back, now Kenny now, good move by Kenny, get out of the way here. And look at what FTR did in the, in the meantime. They position themselves. Oh, they, oh, Omega tried to. Hey, Omega's so usually so fast and so explosive. 
but a step and a half slower because of the damage to his knee. And that one legged man in an ass kicking contest doesn't win a lot of fights. And that's essentially what Kenny is right now. Yeah. He's a one legged man. Yeah, this is this is the change of the complexion of this match, I think, for the remainder of the match. JR, think about how important, how crucial Kenny Omega's speed and explosivity is to his wrestling style. FTR has effectively neutralized that. Yeah, yeah it is, Excalibur. A huge part of the game for Kenny Omega offensively and, quite frankly, defensively. He avoids a lot of things. He's able to counter because of his speed and coordination. And there we see FTR. Oh, the Wheeler was actually using that tag rope to choke Kenny Omega. Unfortunately, that'll happen sometimes. Omega flips off the back of wow. Harwood. He hit hard on those on those legs. That hurt his knee as well. Oh my God! Nice the switch. switch, snap, Dragon plants Harwood on the back of his head. A desperation snap, Dragon. Oh, look at that cheap shot on Page. Oh! Another snap, Dragon finds its home. Reach up and tag Kenny. Come on now. Sorry, I shouldn't cheer for anybody, but he was right there. Omega looking for the third one. Harwood rolls through, steps through, but oh! Wow. That, Omega shoved. C cover, one, two, whoa! Harwood right into uh, Hangman Page. I think their heads collided on that one, and Page is still down. And that was that was just sheer desperation by Kenny Omega. He wasn't even thinking. The only good thing about this for Omega is that he's in his corner if Hangman Page can make it back up to the apron to make a tag. And you see Harwood Placing his body between Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page. That is the tag team instincts of FTR. Oh! Man, did his head hit the post? Yeah, it, well, I think so. It may, it may have hit the turnbuckle between the pad and the post that time, JR. But regardless, the bell of Dax Harwood was rung, and now Hangman makes the tag! Page has had time to get himself back together to some degree. He's coming in with an offensive flurry. The question is, can he close the deal here? He may have to close it by himself. Hangman gets the boot up, and now, oh, the clothesline takes down Harwood. Tully Blanchard being very anxious at ringside. Back elbow there by Cash Wheeler. He comes off the middle. Oh, Hangman catches him. All the way slam. And a nip up by the athletic Adam Hangman Page. Whoa. Wow. Over the top. He's ubiquitous with his offense, is Hangman Page. Low bridge. He's got a boat down, man. Both members of FTR on the outside. Look at those eyes of this man. The wild-eyed, anxious millennial cowboy headed up to the top. And Boy, they moved out of the way. He was gonna, he was gonna look like he was trying to moonsault now. Why but not a look Dan Hangman takes to the skies and takes out FTR. Tully was trying to get the his team out of the way. They didn't respond quick enough to him, and, and then Page made that great adjustment by coming, turning the corner and coming off the other side of the corner. They did move out of the way nicely, but when they cut the corner to the other side, here's what happened. Yeah, tremendous improvisation there by Hangman Adam Page. I mean, that's the coaching of Tully Blanchard at play. He knows Hangman likes to employ that Orihara moonsault. Cover, two, no. My point was that uh, FTR just didn't move quite far enough as Tully was imploring them to do. Right. But who the hell would have thought that Hangman Page was going to do what he was doing, no. what he did? Damn. Man, this is a hell of a show, guys. And we still got more to come. Mimosa mayhem. First time ever for me. First time ever, ever. And then the AEW World Championship match, our main event, still to come here tonight. Cash Wheeler went for that. Swinging DDT off the apron. Grabs the waist lock, hangman standing switch there. Both men jockeying for position. Oh! Man, what a shot from the outside. Harwood covers, two. Wow. Very, very close. This all went down because of, because of what side of the ring they were on. Close to the FTR's corner, and that's why it happened that way. And FTR so good at getting those blind tags confusing their opponent, misdirecting the attention. Now look at this. He makes the tag, and they continue to hammer on the offense. Double diving headbutts. Shades of the old British Bulldogs. Covered one, two, no! Davey and Dynamite. Man, these, this is, this, this match is so physical. 
It's just all four guys have taken so much punishment, but try to keep coming back. I'm amazed that Kenny can stand up. They're telling the other wrestlers in the back that have not competed yet. Follow this. Kenny Omega uh -oh. on the apron. Harwood kicks his legs. He's got Omega. Omega kicks his legs. Who's going to win this one? Oh, no, Cash. Cash Wheeler comes over the top. Kenny Omega trying to hold on to the ropes. What in the world are they? Oh! oh! Bulldog off the apron, off the top of the shoulders. It's all or nothing here. Sometimes it's not pretty. It's just meant to maim and to put somebody away so they get that three seconds. The, the, the elusive three seconds. Look at this. Man, that's like, Bulldog. That's like a Steiner Brothers double team Bulldog. Yeah. Wheeler missed. And Hangman up to his feet. I think FCR's approach for this match was to dismantle Kenny Omega physically and do the same thing psychologically to Hangman Page, and thus far it's been paying dividends. Good game plan, if that's in fact the way it is. Tag made. Wheeler out eventually. And there's, oh, the there's another Bulldog headlock. Bulldog on Page. Cover. One, two, no. Harwood reached back, hooked the leg in this fundamental way that he does. He just got there a little bit too late, but that was a, another perfectly executed Bulldog headlock. And you can see the disappointment in Harwood's face that time because he thought that double team Bulldog for the second time had got the win. Man, they're going to do another double team here. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. Omega swept out the leg. Oh, 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 Har oh Harwood, his spine hit that apron. It sure yeah, did. Right, the edge of the apron, the corner, whatever you want to say. Hurts like hell, no doubt about that. But Cash Wheeler is just dazed, and boy, Hangman's going to take advantage of it here. Hangman up oh, to the top. They're teetering up there. What? Buster suplex by the Hangman. One, two, no! Oh, my God, he kicked out. Oh, my God, he kicked out. I can't believe that. Man, what a match. What a tag team title match we're being treated to. Anybody's game, nobody's got a real distinct advantage. Take a look at this. What strength and agility all at the same time from Hangman Page. That was great offense by Hangman Page. I'll tell you that right now, ladies and gentlemen. And now they've got Wheeler isolated center of the ring. They're calling for, looks like they're setting him up for last call. Wheeler in big trouble. Well, there's Harwood trying to restrain Omega. And the Bucks shot Lariat. Oh, both men duck. And now, bang! Oh, no! God. Oh, that's toxic. Oh, the chop block, too. There's a toxic knee, then the chop block. The V trigger by Omega Dex Page, and then the chop block just completely cut down Omega. Omega trying to revive Hangman Page, but. Look at, look at this, Harwood pulling. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, Harwood pulling a page away from Omega, so there's no chance of a tag, at least an easy tag. Wheeler tags out to Dax. That was bad. And now they've got Page set up. Oh, the mind breaker, that assisted spike pile driver. Tony's, he's celebrating. Yeah, he is. He says that's it. One, two, three. It's not it. Don't discount the ability, the heart of Heyman Adam Page. Yeah, don't celebrate too early, Tully. Tully can't believe it. It didn't go down right then. And, and Kenny Omega is just fighting off of his back. He can't even get to his feet. He was just thrown in right hands. Well, I heard the uh, FTR say that winning the titles would be a seven-figure difference in their pay. Well, I mean, Tully's going to get some of that, too. And now, looking forward to getting the oh. spike pile driver. Cover one, two, three, watch! We've got new champions. New tag team champions have been crowned. The winner for this match and new AEW World Tag Team Champions, FTR. Tell you what, those kids earned this one, man. Two North Carolina boys, they're going to do it their way, no matter if you like it or not. One of the most talented tag teams I've ever seen.
At least Tony and I have seen a lot of them. Yes, we have. have Excalibur as well. <laughs> Shattering the back of Trent. Oh, 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 oh my God! Holy hell! Holy hell! All the, the power. We see the power oh, bomb. And then watch this. The watch the windshield. The double power bomb. Trent is back. The epidermis oh. ripped right through the glass. Or the glass ripped through the epidermis. Oh, absolutely. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, they 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 went for Trent. And it, it's given now Chuck a chance to Chuck retaliate. Trying to, Chuck's trying to choke out Santana. Here goes Ortiz, but Chuck, you know, about to drop that bat. Chuck's trying to end this match as quickly as possible. He knows that Trent is out of it. Look at Trent's bat. I, I, how in the world can Trent oh. out of his feet? Was the board turning into splinters? Oh oh. Elevation into the trash cans. Oh my God! I don't know. I, I've seen crazy things, Jr. You and I both. This, this, this has to be some of the greatest we've seen. This is the most amazing street fight I can remember calling in my career. And Santana, you can see, still gasping for breath after being choked by Chuck Taylor with that oh. bat. And, oh, Trent is just a mess. You are seeing the remnants of one of the great rivalries in AEW Tag Team Wrestling. My God, and they're not done. Oh! The lumber is breaking. Yeah. The splinters are flying, and up. flesh is being ripped what apart. Look at the blood all over the concrete. Oh my God. This is what it's come to between these two teams. Big right hands being delivered by Ortiz. Santana taunting Chuck Taylor. Could the end be near for one of these teams? How much longer can both these teams survive this situation? Look at Trent still trying to pull himself up. I can't believe this. The heart of a champion. Yeah, I agree. Man. Oh, and down he goes again. You had heart, right? Oh, Chuck. This was the biggest. Santana is just yelling at Chuck. You've ever done your life. And oh, right hands. Oh, God. Look at hard rights. Right to the temple. Boy, back and forth and back and forth. Clean shots. Left and right, Chuck's trying to cover up. He might be done. I think he is done. Based on how we were, the rules were explained to us, the referee cannot stop the fight. Pinfall, submission, or surrender. Well, they got two referees, which is good because they're pairing off many, many times. I don't know what. It's, it seems like they've, they've. Oh my God, it's a lead pipe. Look at that gleam in the eye. He's gonna, he's gonna absolutely break his, he's gonna break his skull. The evil Santana. Uh, oh, what, what is that? George Cassidy! What the hell? Oh, oh the orange punch! Well, he's got something on his hand. Or he got something on his hand. With this, that's a, a steel chain. It's a chain. Wrapped around his fist. Orange Cassidy has knocked out Santana with the orange punch. And Santana. Just unsteady on his feet. Oh my God. This is surreal. This, I mean, this is absolutely surreal. What are we seeing here? Orange Cassidy delivering Santana up to Chuck Taylor. But look at this, Ortiz. Oh, power driver. Oh, for God's sakes, a power driver. Oh, look at this. Trent, what in the hell? He's got Ortiz. Oh, the One, two, three. Whoa. What an amazing. Amazing fight! What an amazing spectacle! The winners of this fight, best! I can't friends. believe what I've seen here. I'm gonna remember this forever. Orange I, Cassidy came in the right place at the right time. I said Santana and Ortiz were headed to war, and this was nothing short of that. Man, these guys will never be the same. No. They may have nightmares about this match, for the rest of their lives. Trent and Chuck Taylor upholding the honor of Trent's mom, Sue. Getting back for what happened to the van, for getting their equipment, their gear bleach, for the things said about Sue. There you go, battered and bruised, but they're the winners. Look how bloody Trent is. And Chuck, they, they have smiles on their faces. The will to survive, more importantly, the will to oh. win. There's With Sue. Him. Sue's got the van. <laughs> She's hugging her bloody son. And Orange Cassidy's shotgun.
So take care of them, Sue. You've got some retribution for these brave young men. Uh, brave is right, JR. Good call. Sue taking the gang, taking best friends, and Orange Cassidy off into the distance. And oh! <laughs> Gentlemen, we'll see you back here next week on Dynamite. Good night, everybody. Stay down. Yeah, that, that's no Anderson tactic as well. Intimidation. Darby finally stirring as the count approaching nine. This kid's got an amazing high threshold of pain, and to his own detriment sometimes, absolutely no fear. It's tattooed on the back of his neck. Darby Allen is relentless. So I was gonna get you for your Stay birthday, Tony. A relentless tattoo on the back of your neck. Uh, well. I'm working that out. Okay, thanks, Jim. <laughs> like, oh, tell you what. He knew he was now relentless. He's now, now he's back in the groove. Yep, wrestling moves. So he's right back in the groove, right back in his wheelhouse. He's doing what his coach stuff to do, yeah. even though he may not like it right now. I think what he's pissed off about is that Darby will not go away. Well, I think he knew that going into as well. The, I don't know what he's, again, they're trying to intimidate Darby here. And, and I'm not so sure. They, they don't, don't, they don't let, no, just go down. Hey, I'm not a coach, but go down and pick him up. There you go, you again, our, and do something. You got our number, Texas. Gorilla press here by Cody. A lot of strength. Again, dumping him down. Hooks the far leg. One, two. The old Gorilla slam. Here's the thing, though. We know Cody's stronger than Darby. That's great. Put him in a cross, cross arm breaker. Finish this match. You put in so much work on that left arm of Darby Allen. You're squandering whatever advantage you had. Oh, my God. It's... Well, see, this is a. This is absolutely uncalled for as well. What logical sense does this make well, it, to infer you're going to use this belt? It, it makes none, but what it is, he's just letting the, the heat of the moment get the better of it. And Mike Kyoto trying to... Oh, look at that! Darby uses the, uses the belt, rolls him up, jackknife! And it almost backfired big time. Kyoto tosses that belt out of the ring where it should have been from the beginning. Disaster kick. No, Darby covers. Hooks through, Last Supper! One, two, no! Oh my God. That... Cody able to power out of that at the very last moment. I thought he was, a, he was done. I did too. I, I don't think he got the legs hooked like he wanted to though. Dr drop step, goes over the top, stunner. Darby! Are you kidding me? Darby with an opportunity! Can this happen? Coffin drop coming up, watch out! Coffin drop! And look, Darby covers, one, oh, two! Oh! Oh my God! You go back to the tournament, it was the coffin drop, and Cody, if we'll recall, pinned him out of the coffin drop. That time, he just barely escaped. Yeah, Cody, with that tilt of the hips and shoulders, he got Darby's shoulders to the mat and got the three count in the finals, the semifinals of the tournament. Darby learning from ex that mistake. We are also seeing the rewards of gaining muscle and, and strength from Cody. Yeah, we are. Subtle things are happening that are enhanced by his uh, weight gain and, and, and more time in the gym or whatever. The pump kick hit Darby. Darby drops down, rolls up. It's Cody sits. Darby, one, two. Cody counters again, two. Darby, one, two. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Darby Allen! Darby Allen! Are you kidding me? No winner of this match. And new TNT champion. Man, when you look at these fans here, they're going absolutely crazy in support of Darby Allen. Cody Rhodes let Darby hang around for too long. And he is just as shocked as everyone here tonight in Jacksonville. He earned every bit of it, guys. You can look surprised, you can look shocked, as two men are right now. But damn it, Darby Allen earned every bit of this. Darby Allen, man, what a, what a 
heart and the passion. He, I can see where Cody can get awful frustrated because Darby, by God, just would not go away. What a moment, what a moment. Back and forth they win, and it was Darby in the end. Look at the size difference. And look at the new face of TNT. Fans chanting, you deserve it. You're damn right you, they do. He does. Well, there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new TNT champion. His name is Darby Allen. And yes, he is a strange enigma. But right now, today, he's the face of TNT. Arn Anderson very upset on the outside. He was pointing at his play card, telling Cody, you didn't follow it. This is a great, great moment of sportsmanship here. Darby All right, Allen. enough, 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 enough. I, I swear to God. Oh, God. I swear to God. I need a plastic bag because I'm going to vomit. Enough with the emotions, the hugging, the tears, all of this crap, the waterworks. Man up. So what? You won the TNT Championship. I would say, act like you've been there before, but you've never been there. So congratulations. Now take the Prince of Pro Wrestling and both of you take your bitch asses in the back. You heard me. You heard me, executive man. You heard me. You damn oh, right you heard out. me. Brian Cage. Cage. Cody and Darby been set up by Taz. Brian Cage and Ricky Starks descending on Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen. Ricky Starks singling out Cody Rhodes and, and the big monster. What did you saw get? And Ricky Starks posted Arn Anderson. Oh my God. You saw him laying oh. down. Starks with that spear. Ricky Starks on fire here. No question, Starks and Darby Allen have had their moments and their problems, but you're talking about a great moment that was turned upside down Ooh. by this. Look at this. Dissension in here in Team Taz. Guess what? Neither one of you have it. Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen left it all on the line here tonight, and here comes Team Taz to just pick at the bones. What the hell are they going to do now? Cage, he's carrying Darby. Do we, do we do we not have security anywhere? Cage. What is, what is that over there? Inside the ring or inside the ringside area, Arn Anderson being attended to by the trainers. Oh, Cody though. Cody cannot beat two men after no. during that match he just had with Darby Allen. No, they need some help, and and Darby Allen is oh no. Oh! Darby thrown through that set piece by the machine, Brian Cage. All right, we've seen enough of this carnage. Yeah, well, you may have, but they're not done here, JR. They're, they're doing all of this at the behest of Taz. Oh, it's, it's Darby's car that he arrived in. What now? What more can be done to this young man's body? No, 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 they're not, no. No, 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 gonna, no, gonna, no gonna, not the arm. They're going to try to break his arm. Oh, come on, damn it. What the hell? What the? Stop! Somebody gotta stop this! Referees are running around Keystone Cops. And, and, oh, here comes, and Will Hobbs! Here comes Will Hobbs! Get Will in Hobbs there! Is Get in there, Will! Willie Hobbs in that chair. Yeah. And three men ran from him. They have they have so many times in for the AEW oh, World damn. Tag Team Championship. 
We talked earlier about how great the tag team scene was here in AEW. We're seeing why right now. And that was a Stan Hansen-esque clothesline. I'm downtown, Borger, Texas. Uh, little communication. FTR pulling a page on a DIY playbook. That's Cover. it. One, two, no! I don't know how he got that left shoulder up. Neither does uh, Cash there. The look at his face tells that story. What the hell we got to do here? But the more than you're doing. What a struggle this match is. And the, the Bucks did not come here to lose. Oh boy. Especially with the stipulation that they added to this contest. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, you got you guys, but guys on both sides with so much courage, especially Matt Jackson, that bad wheel of his. Oh my God. Wheeler sent off the top to the outside. Matt Jackson with the catapult into the common Geary. Shot right in the face. Now look out. Nick Jackson diving onto Cash Wheeler on the stage. Man. Nick landed right on his tailbone. Yeah, and both are wiped out. And now Matt stepping through. What is he going to do here? He's looking for that, that sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, he's got it on. He's but, got it on. But can he base on that injured ankle? That's a good point. He's got a pretty good wide base. Look at Dax maneuver. Dax makes uh, the crawl. That helped him right there, got him out of the jam. Oh, oh. super kick to the right hand. That was clutching the ropes. And Matt brings him back towards center. The FTR is not going to be happy with that call. They should have been a break in the hold. There he, wasn't. He pulled Cash My back. God, look at this. A sharpshooter on both ends. Stereo sharpshooters as FTR. And they also clasp hands to cause another break. Now, there's got to be a break. No, Matt sits back. I know he sits back. I can see that. Matt clutching onto that knee and finally his left leg gives way his partner tried to make an illegal assist and he pulled him back but you're right the foot the leg too much damage or damage over there as well i don't know that there will be a last team standing there may be one guy that's left standing but at this rate three or maybe all four of these guys are going to be the worst for wear moments from now they can't go much longer he reached out to Dax to his corner. Nobody was there. Cash is stuck in the other corner, as you can see. So basically, we got a two on one. There you go. And they're thinking more bang for your buck. Nick, rising Ooh. knee strike right on the point of the jaw of Dax Harwood. Man, that was spot on big time money. Look, everybody is just heaving and just everybody is spent and still fighting. Perspiration. It's about 70 degrees, 72 degrees here right now. Beautiful. But for, for an athlete like these dudes. Yeah, look at Dax oh, begging oh. off, but Nick remembers all the blows to his ankle. Oh! Just snapping the hand, and now Dax Harwood. BTE trigger! Covers! One, two, no! Oh, wow! Wow. Wheeler was like a rocket. He was, like someone shot him out of a cannon. Shot out of a cannon is right. Wow. Catapulted right into the scene. He was a blur. Wheeler had to cover so much ground to break up that pin and keep his team alive. Bucks were able to make a lot of frequent tags. That's been the key. Nick with the Escalera into the plunge on the outside. Oh my God. Come on now. I get it. You're angry. You remember the chair on the ankle. Keep it out. If you want to be the champs. He can't he can't afford to lose his cool here. No, he cannot. If this ends in a DQ, the Young Bucks can never challenge for the world championship look, again. Look, Dax says hit me. Look at that. He wants him to hit him. He wants of course the DQ. He does. Matt's a senior member of his team. He's not gonna be that naive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nick, Nick and Knox pleading with him. He has got to overcome this. Don't do it. Come on, Matt. Don't do it. Instead, he's got Harwood up. Oh, oh no. Oh, God, they were going. Oh, power oh, on God. the table. Not in the doctor's area. I guess that's a good placement. Oh, wow. Harwood 
Transitioned. Matt uh -oh. in midair. Matt is in deep, deep trouble here. Nick is out. And Matt is. Oh! That's the mind breaker, the spike pile driver. Matt was low on the legs, too. Covers. One, two. Oh, the. He had pulled him away from the rope, and he still was able to pivot over his lower body to get there. I think Cash Wheeler might have thought he pulled him further away. He was letting that yeah. leg drop. At the end of the day, that's going to be a situation that FTR is going to regret. Yeah, I agree. That's a, that's a key moment in this match. Because you can't win with that spike power driver. Oh, the boot being taken off. Oh, look at that. Boy, they are going for broke here now, guys. Barefooted, taped up. You see the... This is like a, 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 a billboard, a neon sign. And this is also too Oh, long. no, look. Come break Got me. The knee, grapevine, and oh! Almost as effective as having it tied up in a steel chair. Dax Harwood steps through. Oh, the inverted figure four! And with an ankle lock, that yeah. added ankle lock as yeah. well. He's got that ankle hook pretty good there. And Dax doing a great job moving his body towards the ropes to move Matt further away. Remember the oh! look at that. He saw Nick coming, did Cash. But Nick a step quicker. And now Nick Jackson. What's he doing? 450 splash to break up the submission. Now the, can he get there? Can Matt get there? That covers, covers two. Eight. Oh! But not enough strength or technique. Placement, I guess you'd say, to get the three count. But he had a great opportunity thanks to his brother's 450. Man, I can't, uh, I just can't, uh, I'm just amazed how tough these guys are. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I'm, they've risen their game here tonight. Yeah, th that, that's a great point. We talk about all oh, the offense. super kick from Cash Wheeler. But let's talk about how tough they are, how much wow. they can take punishment. Well, Cash cleared him out, didn't he? That was a supersized super yeah. kick. That was a He-Man super kick is what that was. Yeah, Wheeler really stepped into it, threw his entire body in, caught Nick with a kick and cleared him out of the ring. All right, so now let's get our math right. It's Wheeler and Matt, legal men. Yes, and the other two are nowhere to be found on the aprons. Oh, Whoa. God almighty. That knocked him out. That kick came right into your living room. Thanks to this amazing camera work. That not, I'm, I'm, are you surprised he's not covering him here? I thought that knocked him out. Yeah, I, no cover right now. It's not a, another, it's the second big mistake these guys have made in the last five minutes or so. Cash Wheeler. He's not done, man. He's going to do some more what? damage. Springboard for 450 from Cash Wheeler. He loaded him in. Voluntary leaving his feet. That's very FTR, unlock FTR. Oh, super kick on the bed. Oh. Covers two. Jackson just kicked his way for he and his brother, the Young Bucks, to become the AEW Tag Team Champions. The winners of this match and new AEW World Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. This was nothing but grit, determination, and courage for the Young Bucks. And finally, finally, they're the champs. Through hellfire and brimstone, the Young Bucks bet on themselves, and they won. The crucial moment came when FTR abandoned their game plan, abandoned their ethos. No flips, just fists, but Kenny Omega back with the elite. Celebrating with his buddies. Kenny Omega, who was victorious earlier here tonight, he will face the winner of the main event, John Moxley versus Hangman. Er, John Moxley versus, John uh, Moxley. versus Eddie Kingston. Who was that in the, that's, I know, we're all excited. This is a big moment, I get it. Why not help him celebrate? Big night for Kenny. PWG reunion, champs, contender. And win number 10 in 2020 is their biggest win well, in AEW. You realize FTR leaving here with their only loss.
That's pretty damn amazing at this level of competition. Boom. How about that? And that super Ooh. kick put yeah. the lights out. They could have, FTR could have won the match. They could have retained the titles. Cash Wheeler, you know he will be getting an earful from Tully Blanchard. They abandoned the game plan and as a result lost the championship and perhaps lost the, the title as best tag team in the world. The third member of Team Taz. The numbers game is going to catch up. Taz's men are in control. And Cage with Dustin on his shoulders and just making it look so easy. And I'm, I'm concerned for Arn Anderson. Yeah, me too. And Cody's being choked out over there. Oh, my God. It's good to see the referees are Johnny on the spot. Yeah. It's, this is a mugging. It is. And look at uh, calling the shots there is Taz. They got the belt. They got the FTW belt. And it's not going to be an ornament. It's going to be a weapon. If I, oh. well, if, if I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, he wants, he wants, he wants to pull, pull Cody up. Look, Taz is calling every shot. Yes, he is. He's, he's, he's calling the plays. He's oh, sending them in. They're holding Cody up. The FTW Championship in hand and how He's defending. growing up he's, they're looking at each other eye to eye right now uh, I don't think Cody ever expected this though no one did Sting is on AEW Dynamite and Darby Allen what must he be thinking he might, he might have been a little stinger once upon a time I think there were many many here and many millions around watching Dynamite that remembers March 26, 2001. And here he is again! Wow, I got chills. An icy glare exchanged between the TNT champion Darby Allen and the TNT legend Sting. Seeing this man makes me feel young again, Tony. It's an amazing moment. It's an amazing moment. We don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know why. We don't know what's next. But we know that right now Sting is on AEW Dynamite. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the world Woo! title still on tap. The main event still to come. What a moment. He avoids it. Oh, my God. 
Omega went off to, to the outside, avoided the contact, but came up and ate an elbow strike there from the champion, John Moxley. Moxley gonna try oh. to take advantage here now. He's they're back out in Moxley land. That's outside the ring. Oh, here John, we go. Oh! Paradigm shifted those heaters. Those heaters at the ringside area. Well, that's not good. No, that, those are extremely hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Paul, Paul Turner. Where's the doctor? Paul Turner gesturing at the, at the doctor. It's, it's Bryce Reddy, our doctor. He's in bad shape. Kenny's out, I think. Ken, and I, I think Kenny, when he when he came down, landed on the on the concrete. It's Don Callis has actually stood up. He's very concerned. Well, well, he should be. I mean, Kenny's Kenny may not be able to continue here. I mean, Kenny, a, a man. unfortunate. Don, Don going down to check on Kenny, obviously. Well, understandable. This, this Don, essentially an uncle to to Kenny Omega. Hit the side of Paul Turner say hit the side of his head apparently. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be very cautious here. And of course, and nobody, well, look nobody wants this match to end this way. And especially John but, Moxley. Yeah. John Moxley's gonna beat Kenny Omega in the center of the ring. I don't know, the referee's gotta be very uh look at John Moxley. John Moxley is like livid. Yeah, straight unprotected shots to the head. How many do you get before you stop it? Okay. John Moxley's not for, forgot that. that. He's got a microphone. He's, He's hurt. Don Callis has a microphone. Oh, oh, good God. Yeah, there's some impact there. Well, I, I, you know, Don should have stayed away from the ring, and I get it. I understand it, but my God. All he's trying to do, Tony, is. That's, he wanted him to stop the match. He said minute. he's hurt. Wait a minute. He said he was hurt. Omega's got the mic. Oh, oh my God. Right between the eyes. Oh my God, he knocked him out. Well, that microphone. How the hell did that microphone go from Callus to Omega? And I mean, obviously, something's happened here. Kenny Omega spiked John Moxley right between the eyes. Oh, Moxley's bleeding. Yeah, oh, oh that John microphone. Mox John Moxley has been busted open. Profusely. And, and Moxley, you can see very dazed. And, and Kenny is, is pulling his knee pad down to expose that knee. They had a gentleman's agreement. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? Oh, the feet trigger! What happened to the gentleman's agreement they talked about? I don't know, Tony. Oh, a second one! This has not got any peace or easy feeling about it whatsoever. Oh, the... How much more can the champion take? Oh, That's what I want to know. How much more? My God, another one. And that time the head hit to the bo middle or bottom turnbuckle. The bloody champion being pulled to his feet. Four consecutive V-triggers. Moxley with his hands down, unable to protect himself. And now Omega, the challenger has an opportunity to do something no one in AEW has done. Defeat John oh, One winged angel. One winged angel. Shoulders are down. New champion. With the, the winner of this match. And Got stink all over it. Unbelievable. We got. Can we get another look of what just went down? That's what I want to know. I hit him in the head with the microphone. Well, the gentleman. But I think it's a setup, Tony. Okay. It's a bigger story. I think Callis has set this damn thing up for the taking advantage of Tony Khan's hospitality. And, and there's Tony. Tony is barking at Callis and Omega. Don Callis has led a screw job here. On, on John Moxley that has allowed Kenny Omega to become the AEW World Champion. Is that the only way Kenny Omega can beat John Moxley? Bullshit. Absolute. They're running like scalded dogs here. Where are they they're going? not hanging around for a celebration or a press conference. Fleeing from the scene of the crime is what they're doing. 
Callis. God, what a no good bastard. Kenny, Don. Yeah, Kenny will make Kenny, us right there Don, with that. Okay, guys. Sir, what, what, what did you just do? What's going on? What the hell's going on here? To find out this Tuesday night. Tuesday? Dynamite's on Wednesday. This Tuesday, Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Me and Kenny will tell you all about it, Mark. What the hell? We've just been jobbed. You we've been spending big time you're here. You're damn right we've been jobbed. Now here's Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston. Eddie, Eddie Kingston. Look what your boy did over there. Huh? Real nice world champion. Number two, I'm not waiting till next week. I want Lance Archer now. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means as we welcome you to a celebration of life of Mr. Brody Lee. And to get it started, we'll send it down to Justin Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we toll the bell 10 times to honor the memory of Brody Lee. I, I had to write this memo the other day and I was looking, I was looking for a quote, just something that would encapsulate somebody like Brody Lee. And I, I, I came across this Samuel Johnson quote. I, I probably will butcher it, but I think you'll understand it. It says, you can judge a man's character by how he treats somebody who can do him no good. Over the past, over the past week, we've heard all these stories of all these different people, these degrees of separation who were positively affected by Brody Lee. There has never been a wrestler in every company in every locker room, with every member of management to have that one-to-one -one connection, and that's why everyone is affected so deeply. In short, he was a beautiful man. And he leaves behind a beautiful legacy, and I want to introduce to you that legacy right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome negative one, Brody Lee Jr.
Brody Lee Jr., minus one. You, your family, these boots are retired. Your father, the greatest TNT champion, with all due respect, the greatest TNT champion we've ever had. To you and your family, the TNT champion for life. Holding, holding the title that... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight. We're here to honor one of the, not only wrestling's greatest champions, but one of wrestling's greatest men, and a man who has one of wrestling's greatest families. And they're here tonight, and we put a special tribute together, and there's no better way for us to end the show tonight than this. So here's a tribute to a great man. Here's a tribute to Mr. Brody Lee. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Brody Lee, and I am the Exalted One. Well, my time went so quickly, I went lickety splickly. Out to my old 55. As I pulled away slow. Feeling so holy, God knows I was feeling alive. Now the sun's coming up. I'm riding with lady love. Freeway cars and trucks. Snoop did it. 
Cody's ring music. Well, Snoop and Cody Rhodes, a part of Go Big Show. Set your DVRs now to watch Snoop, Rosario Dawson, Jennifer Nettles, Cody Rhodes, and host Brent, Bert Kersher on the Go Big Show, premiering tomorrow night, 9, 8, 7 Central on TBS. Bruce Kreiser, Kreiser being accompanied Kreiser. by his coach from Go Big Show, hip hop icon, Snoop Dogg. Look at these giant heads from in the Atlanta, crowd. Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing 227 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You can't get any cooler than Snoop Dogg. How about what we've had tonight, Sting, Snoop Dogg, we've got our world title match still to come. Chris Jericho, it, uh, yeah. Our women's world championship leader That's on the right. line as well. Giant heads in the crowd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've witnessed history. But Kenny Omega and the invisible hand dog Callis is gonna give you something you didn't pay for. You witnessed him beat Ray Phoenix, Kenny. Why don't we let them witness the end of the career of Ray? Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting uh, a message here. Apparently something terrible has happened in the back, Kenny. Can we roll? Can we go backstage? Something's happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, look at Hey, what's your name, Oh, my goodness. Packing pens up. My Kingston's mom. My goodness. Kenny, this is a very unsafe environment for you. I mean, anything can happen. Phoenix, you remember that we told you that Penta wouldn't be coming for you, that Pac wouldn't be coming for you. What is coming for you is a one-winged angel into the scrap heap of history. Get him up, finish him off. Oh, come this on is now. the end. Wow. This enough, is guys. the end. Cut his mic off, for God's sake. Get him up. Get him Let's out of here. Let's finish him no off. No mercy. Let's finish him oh, off. Oh, 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 Let's finish him off. This is just picked up. Go! go. Right to the stomach. No, 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 no. John Mox are using that base, that barbed wire bat. Don Callis hit the hills after that. Yeah. The boogeyman has up. appeared. Good thing Callis is wearing darks. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Do you know how much it would hurt to take a barbed wire bat to the breadbasket after the match Kenny Omega just had? And Moxley looking to extract his revenge, exact his revenge on Kenny Omega. Uh, Look, what, what, do, what do we got here? What do we got? The Good Brothers! Oh my God! It's Gallows it's and Anderson! Gallows and Anderson! Gallows and Anderson! Gallows and Anderson are here! They don't even work here! What is this? An Impact trap? The Impact Tag Team Champions just invaded Daly's place, and they are attacking John Moxley. What the hell? Get those goons out of there! The, the Don Callis doesn't work here! Gallows and Anderson don't work here! Do we not have any security? What is going on? They're taking on? over the show, these guys. And they've got Moxley up. They, they, no, not the... You know oh, it's, it's a magic, magic killer. killer! Come on! It's a magic killer! Anderson and Gallows looking like a million bucks tag team champions of Impact Wrestling! Don Callis, obviously, they're, they're puppet master, hugging Kenny Omega. But what these two men have done to John Moxley is unforgivable. And can you bet your ass, Moxley's not going to forget it. I, I, I agree with you on that, JR. And nobody's coming to the aid of John Moxley. They are they too intimidated to confront these men from Impact? That's what happens when you do what Moxley does. He wants to be a lone wolf. This is the ramifications of that. Omega just barking in the ear of the former world champion, the man he stole the AEW World Championship from. As the invisible hand directs traffic. Look at Kenny, oh, blood no. all over his, over his arm and blistered chest. And with the barbed wire bat in hand. Oh, oh no, sweet oh, revenge! Oh. Sweet revenge! Well, I gotta agree with you, it is sweet revenge. He brought the bat in. Oh no, hit, that's enough! He hit Kenny with it. He should. He should rip his shirt off and hit him again. Over it's and over again. No. The AEW World come on, Champions. Come on, come on. Pimmons coming in there. Griff Garrison. Finally, somebody had the balls to go in and, and try and stop these guys, but they can't be stopped. No, I tell you what, Gallo's just too big and too mean. And everybody, the ring is. Oh, they've seen enough. Come on, good, good. Look, 
look at this. But Omega's still armed, the barbed wire bat. Everybody trying to help out, and everybody has been stymied. This is a hostile takeover. Of this segment. The ringside area. All these guys are Dallas powerbomb out of the top. Oh. Omega with the barbed wire bat in hand. These Gallows and Anderson, this is absolute pandemonium. They got a lot of nerves showing up here after they screwed the Young Bucks, they screwed AEW, and now they're screwing John Moxley. Well, this is all the work of your good friend, the invisible hand, Don Callis. Abs hey, absolutely. Listen. Looks like it's working, isn't it? Look Who at this. Whose side are you on, anyway? It doesn't matter whose side I'm on. I'm on the winning side. Look at this. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Let me remind you, none of these guys work here. Gallows, not under contract, AW. Anderson, not under contract. Don Callis, not under contract. But yet they're standing in the middle of the ring like champions. They own this place tonight. For now. You made me flip the switch. You made me flip the switch. Who made him flip the he's, switch? Moxley made him flip the switch. Oh, he was a nut already. Yeah, he's a nut that's the champion. He's your champion, Savani. Our champion, Jericho. That's right. Yeah, oh, Moxley. Moxley. Uh, Moxley fighting back. Yeah, right he's watch. he's better, outnumbered. You better cut Moxley's head off like a snake. He's, he's going to keep coming back. He is outnumbered and outgunned here. Here's the Carnage Garrison. Pillman, all these unnamed but guys. Finally, yes, finally! Come on! Young Bucks! Well, look at this! They're trying to talk reason. They're the, trying to talk reason. Hold on a second, this is the first time these five have been in the same ring together in years. After terrorizing New Japan Pro Wrestling, they're all back together again. The Bucks pleading with Gallows and Anderson. Where do they stand? Yeah, look at Callis trying to be a shield in front of Kenny. Oh, oh, but Garrison! Oh. Matt Jackson just super kicked Griff Garrison! As Gallows hit Pillman with the, with, the, with the title! Are they on the same page here? Are we seeing the band get back together? It certainly looks that way. It looks like, no, what it looks like is Matt and Nick have no idea what's going on. There's a lot of underlying stories involving this, this whole oh, image. This is the, huge! Look at this! They're gonna do the, they're gonna do the sign! This is massive! Look at this! Unbelievable. They're this doing the sign! They're doing that famous hand sign of the band! The band is together! Playing in the clubhouse they're to, of AW Dynamite! They're, they're asking my guest and my co-host is absolutely the biggest athlete in professional wrestling. I haven't worked with him for a long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to AEW officially, Paul White. Big ovation for the big man. Welcome to Dynamite, Paul White, and the biggest wrestler, the largest wrestler, the largest broadcaster, JR. No doubt about it. What a, there's your broadcast team right there. I want to tell you, Paul, or, or G as I call you, man, it's going to be great working with you side by side, and welcome to Dynamite. Welcome to All Elite Wrestling. You can hear the fan. <laughs> I love it. Hey, raise your hand if you saw this turn coming. You know, honestly, Tony, you know what? You've known me since I had long hair and a bright future. So we've known each other a long time, and I just want to say how incredibly happy I am to be here at AEW. Thank you. Definitely. Starting out on TNT, and then I get a chance to come back to TNT after all this time. It's an unbelievable honor to be here, and I look forward to working with the amazing talent here in AEW. And you and I have an opportunity to work together, because Tony Schiavone and I will be heading up a new show on AEW called Elevation. Well, I will get a chance to do a passion of mine and do some great color commentating on some amazing AEW talent. 
And just so you know that I'm taking my color commentating job seriously, Tony, you're not the only one that gets the big scoops, buddy. R really? W what do you mean? I have the biggest scoop ever. This Sunday at Evolution, AEW is going to hire, put in contract, a Hall of Fame worthy talent that is a huge surprise and a huge asset to AEW. Yeah, but listen, it's not who you think. But this Sunday, you're going to find out who it is, and I want you to know that I knew who it was first. Tune in to find out who we get. All right, that from Paul White, and a big announcement, a major announcement coming up Sunday. Now this is a little bit beyond. Jade Cargill. In a... Well, obviously, it's a table. Well, yeah, and I, but I... I mean, like I said, they, they have made this very, very personal. And here's just a, another. And I, I think even Shaq is surprised by the actions of, of Jade. I mean, Jade's gone into business for herself. Well, I believe she has. But Velvet identifies the danger. She's a fireball as this red velvet oh. come right back out to fight again against a much larger and stronger adversary. Red Velvet currently ranked number two in the AEW women's division. She's won 11 of her last 12 matches. She is certainly what? no stranger to victory, but well, I guess if one table's good, two might be better. No, I, I, I this is beyond comprehension here. Exactly what they what they're trying to accomplish. I, I guess the only thing you could say is they're trying to end it right before it starts between these two. Velvet on the outside getting the second table set up and still to come tonight the return to action of her Tully Blanchard the first time in almost 22 years on national television. He'll team with FTR to take on Jurassic Express later tonight. A rocking right hand from the 6'2 or 3 whatever she's a big big lady. Tell you, one of those ladies. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a kick. Scored the kick right in the face. The Anzi Gary right on the money. And there's a tie. Cody's in now. So that means Shaq's got to come back in. Oh boy, and here he comes. Intimidating as always. All, <laughs> all seven foot one of him. Oh, little test of strength here. What do you think? Go for it. I think Shaq is going to win that those test. Hands. Those massive hands were, being, were pounding on the sternum and the text of Cody earlier tonight. Now, thank God those two women stayed away from those tables, man. They, and Cody needs to be very, very cautious here. Ooh. Oh, smart. What a smart Absolutely. move by Cody Rhodes. That, that's the ring savvy. But the knee lift, and you saw that, that one single knee lift by Shaq drop Cody. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Power bomb. Shaquille O'Neal slammed it home. This is amazing. Oh. And, he, and then Shaq walked right into that. Oh, yeah, God. my God! A slam. Big Shaq heels been slammed. Cody's going for the cover. Will it be? A no! Oh, my God, the power. And you have to remember, Cody with that shoulder injury. Cody. How much does slamming somebody like Shaq take out of him? But right now, Jade and Red Velvet squaring off center of the ring. What a way to start our evening. This is amazing. Uh, look at the fight. Oh. Look at the aggression. The fearlessness of these two women pounding on each other. Red Velvet repeated shots. And Shaq just looming large over this match. Oh! Hard knee right to the abdomen. But then the counter coming right back and fighting right back into her place is Red Velvet. Red Velvet. Gets oh, the spine buster, the spine on the prime, executed by Jade Cargill. Jade hooks the far oh, leg of Cody. Interrupted the count. Ooh, big swing and a miss, and Cody with the poke of the eyes. Now Cody, Cody on the top. Oh, oh my God, God in heaven. Good God almighty, the tables are everywhere. People are shattered. It's incredible. This crowd's going wild. Holy hell. Cody diving over the top rope, taking out Shaquille O'Neal through two tables. 
And, and, and Jay Cargill's in shock. Yeah, her entire attention. Look at that. Oh, the spear! Red Velvet hit the spear. What's the in the line? She got it. No! Oh, how close was that? Inches, mere inches away. And Velvet using that spear. That's her mentor, Brandy Rhodes, finishing attack. Coach Arn Anderson trying to coach up Red Velvet. You're in the bottom of the ninth here, young lady. You got a shot at winning this huge match. Red Velvet looking to end the night of Jade Cargill. Has her up on the shoulders. Jade Cargill. Oh no, look at this. Reversing. Oh, pal, that's just nothing but muscle and power. Velvet comes out the back door. Uh oh, look at this, Jade. She's got Red Velvet up. Oh, oh face first. With all that power and force, the velocity, too much. Jade Cargill wins it here on Dynamite. The winners of this match, the team of Shaquille O'Neal and Jade Cargill. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, we got some serious, serious things going on here now. Yeah, uh, I mean, we had to pay attention to the match as it was going on, but take a look, Shaq is out. Shaq is out, and I believe that's, that's Dr. Michael Sampson maybe down there with him. Wow, not good. Shaquille O'Neal laid out at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to meet the wrestler who is here tonight to sign a contract with All Elite Wrestling. <laughs> on the outside. Oh, man. There's already one table set up on the opposite oh, side of the ring. And it's Britt who's bleeding now. Oh, my God. Britt Rosa, get the table. Oh, my God. It, this is beyond anything that, that I ever expected in this match. I never dreamed. That, look, she, the blood is pouring out of her head I here. never would uh, dream what we're seeing. The, the ladder cut her head, and now... It could have been that. I think it might have actually started with that face buster on the ladder and then exacerbated by the drop kick. And, and Rebel's throwing a conniption here. This is not going to be a match we will soon forget, if ever. The first ever unsanctioned lights out match on Dynamite. Oh, strikes. We're not going to have a winner. We're going to have a survivor of this damn thing. Strike after strike. 
Baker it's still trying to fight back. Free a little distance, but you see how lucky she is in doing that. And Tony Thunder Rosa is so smart, so cerebral, even in a situation like this. She hit Britt in the hip with that, that chair earlier and was concentrating those strikes on that same hip. And Britt just trying to get her balance here. She's lost a lot of blood in a short period. Oh, oh my God. God. Thunder Rosa biting that cut. Oh. How about that comeback? Able to extend the leg. Nicely done on a super kick. The thrust kick by Dr. Britt Baker. Now Thunder Rosa. Oh! oh Flatlined into the ladder. And Thunder Rosa's eyes rolled back in her head. Whoa. Both women covered in blood. Oh, my God. Look at Britt Baker. She is struggling to her feet. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I've been a friend of hers for quite a while. I really hate to see this. I hate to see it come to this brutality. What? I mean, this was something of Britt Baker's own doing. She was the one that began bullying Thunder Rosa, saying she did not belong in AEW. No. Oh. This is a bold move by AEW to, to promote this type of match. Uh, uh, it had to happen. Th this is, so, this, is this, this can't be, this, no, 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 hell no. Oh. Thunder Rosa. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, good God. Death Valley driver onto the ladder. Uh, that had to break a shoulder blade, had to break a back. Oh, and uh, uh, Britt Baker trying to wipe the blood out of her eyes. And Thunder Rosa pulling Britt towards center. No, She's looking for a pin here. Hey, One, oh, two, no, Britt kicks out. After having her spine crushed into that ladder, Britt Baker still able to fight and fight and kick out, survive. Look at the pain on both of the ladies' face here. And, and lady is not the, proper, not the proper word right now, but these are two women, these are two warriors yes, doing battle here in our main event tonight. Two of the best, two of the great athletes we have in AEW. Making a lot of people very proud and honor their effort, no matter who wins this match. I agree, man. Oh, back right into the body. This is, this is, I, this is setting the standard, man, for, this is a, I don't know what to say. Oh, oh, DDT on the chair. Look at the dent in the seat of that chair. That was Thunder Rosa's head driven into it. And Britt, the stomp. Thunder Rosa's got to be out. Face first into the steel. The leg is up. And Thunder Rosa somehow, some way, able to kick out. For God's sake. Oh, man, look at that. But look, look at that smile, the rictus on the face of Dr. Britt Baker. Oh, man, she, she lives for this. Oh, she's going for it. And you can better believe if she puts the lock jaw on this time, guys, she's not going to let go. And if, and if she locks it in, even if, if Thunder Rosa makes it to the ropes, there's no disqualification. There's no rope breaks. Oh. What's this? What? What is this? I have no idea. I, I don't either. Maybe, I don't want to wonder. Maybe it's uh, she go hit her. Oh, oh, oh my God! No, no, it's, no, no, no. thumbtacks, thousands of thumbtacks. They're going to be in somebody's body sooner than later. Look, don't look, blink. Look at those sharp edges up. Britt Baker. They're going to check her head here and to see if. if and Tony, think about this. Think about how much these two women hate one another. They are willing to go to this, these extremes oh to settle this. Under Rosa locked it. Oh, the oh, swinging neck breaker oh, avoided. No. Oh no, she got it. Thunder Rosa was thinking of power bomb. Rebel swung with the. Oh, Rebel just got cracked in the head with the, the crutch. Thunder Rosa trying to regrouping. Oh, end this oh, thing. Oh, oh, through the table. Rebel. Rebel got planted on the table, through the, the table. Thunder Rosa escaped the Death Valley driver attempt. Britt. No. Oh, no, my God. No, 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 no. One, two. No. Oh, my God. She kicked out with thumbtacks in her back. Thumbtacks. She looked like a pin cushion. Oh, a my human God. pin cushion. God almighty, can oh, you believe I, this? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to... Oh! And then she kicked out of that damn predicament. Have you ever seen two women 
two males, two anybody oh. that have fought like this in a lights out match. I'm gonna rethink my friendship. I'm never gonna piss her off again. Good God. Thunder Rosa. Oh no, look at this. They're the lock jaw and they're laying in the thumbtacks. The there's, lock jaw's applied. There's no way. There's no way they can stop it. Oh, but Rosa. There's no way they can stop it. her back into the thumbtacks. She rolled her back into the thumbtacks again. Oh God. That's the, that's the only way she could break is roll her into the thumbtacks. When will this madness end for these two women? Rip Baker trying to crawl, crawl out of the thumbtacks to the relative safety of the ropes. There she goes oh! again. Another great thrust kick that time by Britt. Thunder Rosa. I don't, she did not see that kick coming. No, she didn't. Wow. The, the, the fact that either one of these ladies can stand is, is a, to me, a miracle. Look at this. Britt was powerbombed into the thumbtacks, and now I think Britt is thinking powerbomb through the table for Thunder Rosa, but Rosa. Oh, Lord. Thunder Rosa has got Britt hooked over the shoulder. Oh, she, oh no, oh, no. She's not going to do this, is she? Yep. Oh! oh! Fire Thunder Driver through the table! Both ladies oh. are damaged goods. Thunder Rosa going for the cover, going for the win. Can she? Yes, she, she got it. She does! Thunder Rosa has won this amazing, amazing event. The winner of this match, Thunder Rosa! And she breaks down and cries at the end of it. I don't blame her. My God, what they put each other through. Their bodies punctured with thumbtacks. They bled. They've been bruised. They really may never be the same. This was a career-altering match. We knew it was going to be brutal oh, going into this, but it somehow exceeded expectations. Oh, good God. That fire thunder driver through the table. Thunder Rosa, victorious. Good a grief. Bloody I... mess, man. Folks, wow, uh, what a night, guys. Absolutely. And don't forget, coming up next, the mummy, the tomb of the dragon ring. Well, of course, the ring's going to come along. Oh, he's right. got the ring. Oh, boy. So it's, it's a weapon. Oh, oh a dynamite diamond ring hitting Jericho right between the eyes. That's where it looked like it went. Found its mark very forcefully, accurately. MJF demanding that Jericho Jericho's surrender. Been, Jericho's been busted open. What the hell's he doing? What? what? He, and, wait, 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 wait. He's not. That no good piece of shit's not doing we what a, We don't know what he's going to do. He's he's looking. He, a, what? No. This concrete stage here. Come on, it's. This is. This is going too far. Uh oh. Oh no. no, for God's sakes, for the love of God, no. We're. He just said, if you don't surrender, I'm throwing him off the top. He just said, if you don't surrender, I'm throwing him off the top. Gavoya just said it. We surrender. The inner circle has surrendered. They saved Jericho. Good God. Thank God. They had to say they had to do it, guys. There's, oh, there yeah. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely guys. no choice. The pinnacle. Wow. They win it, man. They have won blood and guts. But what MJF was thinking about doing. Ladies and gentlemen, is your anus. winners, the pinnacle. Not a popular decision. Well, no, but it, it was the right one. Tremendous bloodbath. It was a county aggression. Look at this. He thought he was going to higher ground. He got chased up there, and it was a hell of a battle on top. This is they, they, they submitted to protect Chris Jericho. 
Yes. Wait, wait, no, come on. Hey, he's a sick little bastard. I'm telling you. He's, he's up oh, over no, there. No, no, no. Oh, my God. My God, what are we seeing? Get the doctor there quick as you can. Chris Jericho thrown off the top of the steel cage. God almighty. Jericho may have, have broken his back. Let's go. MJF. Here it is again. Look at this. Throwing Jericho off the top of the steel cage. Man, this is serious business. Oh, man. Uh, members of the medical staff is out. It looks like Jericho, at least you could say, Dean Malenko is out. Look, Dean Malenko, one of our coaches you know, one, in the back. One of Jericho's closest friends. Thank you. He said Jericho will finally hear those two words from him. Thank you. He is no good. He is a coward. He is rotten. He is a rat. He's a fink. And he just assaulted a man. But right now, his faction, his group, are the top group in all of AEW as of tonight. And, and he may have ended the career of Chris Jericho here tonight. Chris Jericho being attended to. MJF ascended to the top of the cage. Has he ascended to the top of AEW? Well, well as if, far he's as not, if he's not there, he won't stop until he is. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's ascended or descended to the bottom of the food chain in humanity. He has none. MJF absolutely amoral. He will do anything to achieve his goals as he proved here tonight. We've seen so many wrestlers come and go, JR. I don't know one that I despise more than that little piece of crap on top of the cage. He's on top of the world, not to mention on top of this cage tonight. It was a tremendous battle by all 10 combatants. Well, but at the end of the day, the pinnacle with the victory in blood and guts. Very concerned, Dean Malenko. Yeah. He's very close, as Tony mentioned, to Chris Jericho. They've been close for a long time. They've had some great battles years and years ago. And oh, yeah, help him down. So he can go down his own way. Makes you throw him off, like head first. Yeah, right. MJF, Wardlow, Cash Wheeler, Dax Harwood, and Sean Spears, the pinnacle, victorious here tonight. We hope Jericho can recover, and when he does, if he does, they're talking to him now. There's gonna, hopefully gonna be hell to pay. Oh, there'll be hell to pay. Orange Cassidy is looking very fatigued. Yeah, well, and everybody's worse for wear here, so, Excalibur. Pax made the decision to leave Kenny and go to Orange. Yeah, mistake maybe. I think that's I good know. strategy. Go oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh man, he hit hard. Orange Cassidy spilling to the outside. Omega. Here we go. Underneath the bastard. Whoa. Oh, Lordy. What's Get Omega going to do? Kenny here? Omega is climbing the ropes with. Pax weight oh, on like his shoulders. It, I like it. No, 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 no. He's no, looking no. for the one winged angel. Pack. Oh, oh. What a counter. Sunset flip power bomb by Pack. Improvised, but a great counter. The grid of Pack to leave here and return to the UK as a champion is overwhelming. Pack. Superplex. With Omega. Well, this is no man's land. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Avalanche Falcon Air. He's gonna cast it. Kick, 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 kick. Oh. <laughs> he almost stole the win. He almost stole it. That was the longest two count you'll ever see. Don spit out his teeth here. And maybe Orange realizes I don't know if I can get any closer than I just did. That was razor thin. Too yeah. close. Fans Too are, close. Fans are chanting that was three. Oh. What a heads-up maneuver by Orange Cassidy. Let's take a look at it. One, two, 
No, it was not. He didn't touch. Good call, ref. <laughs> wow. And Pack <laughs> realizing. Yeah, I think Orange knows he's there. Pack realizing that Orange Cassie Berry nearly stole the AEW World Championship. Yeah, well, Pack would have done the same thing. Oh, low blow! Oh. oh. And it's not illegal, unfortunately. That's right. In these three way matches, there's no disqualification. Pack over the top, takes out Omega on the outside. Pack looks shockingly fresh at this point in the match. Pack defying gravity. Could it be the Black Arrow? Could it be? Yes, Black Arrow! Go. One, two, kick, 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 oh. Oh. Good. Omega just oh. died through, lunged through in a pure act of desperation, oh. and that saved the title for Omega. Oh, oh Pack. Ooh, Roundhouse kick it's... delivered right on the jaw to Kenny Omega. And you're hearing these shots to these the body of the body of these men. Their torso, their legs, their shoulders, their arms, their chest. It sure is awesome, folks. These sick fans want to see Omega lose this title. I don't know if that makes them sick or not, Don, but you're right, they sure wanted to lose. Black arrow, nobody oh. home! Crash and burn! Can Omega take advantage now? Here Omega. we go, hits it, it's over! It's got oh, packed up. up. There, there it is! There you go, there you go! No, Pat, Pat! Locked him up, locked Omega up. He's got the Brutalizer locked in! To a standing Kenny Omega! Can Omega withstand? A standing submission to lose the title. Here comes Orange Cassidy. Oh. And the Orange Punch! Beach break! Beach break! Here we go! He's out, he's out. This is serious. <laughs> what a sick match for the AEW world title. Oh my God, and look back. Just now rousing on the outside. It's amazing he can stand. It's amazing any of these guys can stand. Smart move by Omega. Yeah, trying to roll out of harm's way. I'm not sure that's gonna work for him, but it might. A low blow caught by Orange Cassidy. Oh. Uh -oh. This is what he almost put him out with for good. Yeah, that Liger bomb. Oh, it's Whoa. Hot. Whoa. Boy, that's it. Woo. That's cold cocking. A shot and a score. Oh, shit, the limit. shit. What? Dallas just bolted out of here like it was struck by electricity. It, it's going to be Orange Cassidy's moment. Orange Cassidy's going to put that AEW World Championship into that backpack. Gallus ran like a scalded dog the way from here. And now he's at ringside. Thank God for that. Pack is out. Pack is out. One, two. Oh, my God. Oh, Gallus. Get him out of the arena. Don Callis just stole the AEW World Championship from Orange Cassidy. He sure did. My God, it's come unwound here. Look at Kenny, the champion. I admire his effort to try to get back in this thing, but is it, is it going to be too little too late for the champion? Desperation headbutts from Orange Cassidy. I've never seen him use those. Make oh. a three, a trio of headbutts. Down goes the champion. Orange Cassidy was looking for that diving DDT. Caught by Pack. Pack brings him over. Brutalizer. Brutalizer. The submission. And this is how he beat Orange Cassidy at Revolution last year. And Omega better get back in the fray here. We're a tap away from him losing his title and him not even being involved. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, Pack not letting go. Oh, look at that. 
pack is not letting go. He's Orange Cassidy is fading. And his big stomp is packed right in the face by the champion. Oh! He does double axe handle. R referee Bryce Rinsberg right there in the spine. Look at counts. What the hell is he doing? This is, this he is a pimple on the ass of life, this man. And Omega, the belt just laid out pack. Well, as you saw there, the referee really can't do anything about it anyway. This is terrible. This oh, is going to hit him with another belt. With another belt. Damn him. A triple A mega championship driven into the head of Pac. This is disgusting, despicable. Oh, God. You hear that clank right in the skull of Pac. Omega using all of his championship belts as weapons. He says, I got one more. Don't disgrace the world title like that, you chump. And high drama here at Double or Nothing for the AEW world title. Oh, God, that sickening thud. The clash of that steel on the face of the the pack is, is very distasteful. There's Orange. Orange punch! Orange punch! Orange punch! Omega is laid out! It is chaos here. The cover. Get it on the ref. There's Aubrey. One, One. two. Go! Oh. Omega! The crucifix! Then you talk about being in the bottom of the ninth with nobody, with two people out. The winner of this match. And still, all Elite Wrestling World Champion, Kenny Omega! That's Caliber. The no disqualification rule really played into the hands of the champion tonight. It's the only reason why Kenny Omega is walking out of double or nothing as the AEW World Champion. Jacksonville, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, we got this major announcement kicking off the show. Let's send it right down to Tony Schiavone and Elite Company. All right, guys. What a special night. The road to revolution continues. I don't have to introduce this man, the owner, the CEO of AEW, Tony Khan with a major announcement. Tony, my friend, the floor is yours, buddy. Thank you, Tony. Normally, I'm the one keeping people on time, so I'm gonna make sure we get to the wrestling tonight. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being here. Everyone here and everyone at home, you're the ones that kept this company and this business going through this pandemic. Thank you for being here tonight. Tonight is a big night. We're gonna have a big week. This is the biggest week in the history of this company. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road to revolution. This Sunday on pay-per-view and ahead of revolution, I have a huge announcement tonight. It's something big, and I really appreciate you all being here. You know, when we started AEW three years ago, it was out in that parking lot. And I know a lot of you, a lot of you were here at the very beginning, out there, at the very beginning. Well, it was about 17 years before that, another wrestling company started, a wrestling company known as ROH. Ring of Honor. And I've been a fan of Ring of Honor for a long time, a huge fan. So you can imagine I'm very excited because today I signed a deal. I just became the new owner of Ring of Honor. Shane's not here. There's no Shane. It's me. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. 
Ring of Honor, 20 years ago, last week, they launched with an era of honor, the, one of the biggest events they ever had. And the first show, the era of honor begins. The main event, you were there? Well, you know who else was there and he was out in the parking lot? Christopher Daniels. He's an AEW original. He's a Ring of Honor original. He's been there for the start of both companies. And the man he wrestled, neither one of them won that night in the main event, and it's been eating both of them up for 20 years. The man he wrestled is here tonight, and it's the man who's going to wrestle John Moxley at Revolution for the first time ever in Daly's place. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. This physical matchup here tonight to kick it off. As Tony Khan mentioned, this is a match that has been weighing on both men for over 20 years. Uh, specifically, 20 years and one week. So amazing to have it happen here in the home of AEW at Daly's Place. Nice STO by Daniels. Nice takedown by CD there. Look at that eye. Yeah, man. It doesn't, that, this does not look nice. No, it, 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 I, don't, I don't know about limited sight, but he's got to be wrestling only with one eye with full sight. Oh, but he followed up that big right-handed uppercut, and now the cross arm iconoclasm by Daniels. He floats over, grabs the far leg, the cover, no! The grit and determination of Brian Danielson, who could just as easily have taken the smart way out, take the loss. Christopher yeah, Daniels, like they say on Family Feud, take the X. He was looking for the Angels' wings. Brian Danielson has helped, has felt that before, and he countered and hit the German suplex. Released it perfectly on that German suplex, but look at Danielson. I think the blunt of the blow was in the neck and the back of the head of, of Daniels. And look at the chest of Danielson, man. And Christopher Daniels up in the corner. Brian Danielson closes that distance. Oh. The running strike in the corner. Nowhere to go either. That turnbuckle kept everybody braced up. I thought for a minute that Christopher Daniel was going to lure him into that corner move, but he's taking just too much punishment now. I think you're right, Tony, and I think it's, that was going to be hard to accomplish to uh, manipulate the man in this dishing out the punishment right here. Knife edge chops by Brian Danielson. Places the fallen angel up on the top rope. Precarious position for both men. Brian Danielson's record in AEW 15 1 and 2. You can make money on those odds. Yeah, and Christopher Daniel looking for win number 30 in his AEW career. The headbutt knocks Danielson back into the ring. Christopher Daniels gets his footing on the top rope. Diamond cross body. No. Danielson rolls through. Two. No. Wow, he almost, he almost. Oh, look at this. Snaps into the Juji Katami. Whoa, Daniels very nearly countered the counter. Well, scouted. nice counter. Yeah, good, yeah, nice counter. Got a near fall out of it. Daniels was looking for Mahi Straw, but Brian Danielson, the Mahi Straw cradle, countered again. One, two, no. The crucifix, two. Both these men know all the counters, and I got to give the advantage on the counter performance here tonight to Christopher Daniels. But Daniels landed that right hand to the jaw, and Brian Danielson smirked. What? Well, on the heels, the announcer that Tony Khan has purchased Ring of Honor. Nice. Brian Danielson was the Ring of Honor champion for 452 days. Yeah, 20 years ago, these two men were oh! the first match there, and they're rekindling this rivalry once again. I love when traditions are brought forward. Oh, I do too. Whoa, the stories are what finished. a rolling elbow strike. One, two, whoa, ho, 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 Daniels. A little lax in the cover department, fellas. And I'm not so sure that wasn't half-assed premeditated. Take a look at Daly's place, would you? Speaking of tradition. What this place has meant to us, what it meant during the pandemic. Yeah, this was our home for wow. nearly a year and a half. Always great to come back here, but always great to see the fans around the country. Oh, Danielson spent a little too much time. These guys get to a certain point, they lose a lot of their patience, their aggression increases, and they are more apt to take high risk. Christopher Daniels looking for iconoclasm once again, but. Brian Danielson, wow, grabbing at the nose. Now Daniels, following Danielson up to the top. He rocked him on that blow. He sure as hell did, Tony. Christopher Daniels 
Maybe think of top rope work on Rana. No! Oh, boy, that was, you can see that one a mile away. What a counter. Especially if you're and Brian 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 Danielson. Oh. And look at this counter. Yeah, and Christopher Daniel can see that one a mile away too, JR. Yeah, he's you're looking right. for the best moonsault ever. Oh, no, the counter up. into the triangle sleeper. Brian he, Danielson anticipated it. He's putting Christopher Daniels to sleep. The pain and torture coming. He's trying to get to the ropes. He's trying his best to get to the ropes. Look at those elbows. The point of the elbow right to the skull, and it's the referee out. stops it. It's out. And look at this. Brian Danielson once again hanging on after the bell. Hell of an effort by both men. Great match, no doubt about that. There is your winner. But boy, the that, American that Dragon, almost a uh, maniacal side. Danielson. Uh, Brian Danielson being exposed again here tonight. And one can only wonder how physical it will get on Sunday night on pay per view with Brian and John Moss. It's going to be as physical as any match we've ever called, gentlemen. I can tell you that. Hey, I understand you didn't want to let me purchase the FTW title. Maybe you're not a check guy. Maybe. Hook doesn't have a bank account, and he likes straight cash. So I'm gonna give you one last chance before I kick your ass and take your belt. This is your last opportunity. Take the money. Oh, I'll be right back. Well, now, all right, Davari, we all like straight cash. Oh, oh no, look! Just taking Davari over the top. And, oh, but Davari grabbing the boot of Hook, yeah. bringing him to the outside. Maybe we're seeing this, how deep Hook can swim, how deep the water's got to be. Wow, Hook, a nice block that time, going to head first on the table. And there you see the trust funds, or the, excuse me, the trust busters, Butler, Jeeves K. A Butler. 2022. Well, bring uh, your Butler to the ring with you, I guess, right? If you're insecure and you're a billionaire, look at this. the intervention by by Jeeves K actually benefited our Davari here. He's got hooked down on the corner. Yeah, he got his billions. He got his billions. Yes. Well, I'm not going to say how he got his billions. I, I don't trust him. Should he be in prison? <laughs> oh! Massive shot. Hey, I like the fact that Davari is bringing it to. to uh, Hook, and we're seeing how much pain Hook can endure before he gets back on track. Jabari claims he's the richest hey, 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 in hey. pro wrestling today. And Davari getting an assist once again. His butler, James K, on the outside. And Davari's from a very talented wrestling family. He's highly skilled. You should have taken the money when you had the chance. And his older but, brother was but, a great wrestler, too. But he ain't setting the world on fire. He's five and one. Impressive. Look at Hook fighting back with those body punches. And let me tell you, we can hear those punches flesh on flesh from where we're sitting and down to the ring. Yeah, Hook digging Ooh. with those body shots to the ribs, but Davari gets the boot up into the face of Hook, and Hook oh, takes down Davari, brings him through, and now Fisherman suplex by Hook. He's good as physical. He's a former outstanding Division I lacrosse player. And he's got Davari right where he wants. Oh, wait, once again, Hook took his eye off the ball. One, two, and then, yeah, the trunks. Let's remember now, Hook has had 12 matches. And, oh, but he takes out Jeeves K. Look out. And ah. that was a, I think that was a glancing blow. That cross, right across the top of the head. My God, Hook goes down. But it was enough to, to stun him. And Davari, whoa. Surrounded by cash. That's where these guys both want to be eventually in their careers, surrounded by cash. But not quite like this. Well, Davari just trying to use his wealth to buy the FTW championship, but Hook not making it easy. You hear the fans here in Daly's place in support of the cold-hearted, handsome devil. Great counter by Hook. Oh, boy, they ran into that one, though. Well, Davari's a good hand. Look how quick Hook was that time. And Hook brings him Ducky in with down. the red rum. Davari. Oh, he's trapped. got it. Nowhere to go. The Hooks are in, so to speak. Here's this match by submission, and still the FTW champion, Hook. And Davari finally goes out as Hook successfully defends the FTW championship here tonight on Rampage. Very exciting outing uh, to see how far Hook has progressed. He continues to progress. He has a brilliant future in my estimation. Oh, Chiefs K going to sleep. 
99 G's. I've never said that on television before. Well, a lot of things we haven't said before, but he is going 99. Anybody else want to go 99? And Hook taking care of the Trust Busters here tonight.